Oh my God, I, I'm so happy to see you. Becca, Becca, is your, you're like holistic time management coach. Yeah, yeah. That is so interesting. That's why I wanted to, I want everybody to know about you. That's why I wanted to bring you over here. Welcome everyone. So today we have day two challenge on how to set boundaries. And I know you are the perfect person for that because of the time management. It's kind of like goes hand to hand. So yesterday I talked about it a little bit about mm, why it's important to set a boundaries. And I know, I know a lot of people are like, maybe have it or maybe think that, you know, they're too nice or if they say no, sometimes they feel guilty and all of the above. I talked about that. But today I want to um, ask you, this is just like a simply take your perspective on how it is. But before I do that, Tell us who you are and what you do in your own words. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. In my own words, I, uh, I help high achieving women and entrepreneurs just like get, um, get clear on, on what they want to spend their time and energy on. And how I got to this point was growing up with workaholic parents, never like just driven into a capital society that is just always do more do more do more and I went to college and then became an engineer and like just went through the corporate um corporate cycle I burned out went to the hospital had an intestine infection like the whole thing um and I'm 25 like this happened to me very young in life where I had that rock bottom moment. Um, and I became a yoga teacher and a meditation teacher, energy healer, Reiki practitioner, all the things. Um, I got into like every esoteric practice that you could think of like tarot and um, astrology, like everything. I'm all about all of that. And I just, I knew that some, oh, so many people have trouble including myself, detaching our worth from our to-do list, from productivity, um, living in our society. And we're always just like hustle, hustle, do more, do more. Um, and so I've found a way personally to balance that, to balance that hustle and grind with, with, with magic and having fun and healing and growth and um, yeah, living life however I want to live. So that's my short story <laughs> yeah because I know you and me and you work together and we were we, I know her for a long time and I remember when we first met and you were trying to figure out what it is and a calling came in from you working so much and you were trying to get your niche out there and it was kind of like yes I know what I'm doing but not exactly sure what it is and for me I like the way you did it because you actually took your time you worked and you saw that you were working a lot and it wasn't seeing any much result till you actually find out, you know what, time. And you combine those together and holistic time management coach, which is so important, so important. There's so many entrepreneurs and I, I go to these groups and I do read a lot about entrepreneurs, especially female entrepreneurs, because we're mom, we're partner, we're, we're doing everything. We're putting like 20 hats on our head um, to manage everything. And I kid you not, majority of the time, they give up their dream. Their, their whole career because they don't know how to manage time. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just all about prevention. Like there's a lot of burnout coaches and people out there that want to help people recover. And I think that that's needed, right? Because a lot of people do burn out, but like I am in the place of prevention coming from a place of um, burning out in a way. Um, but yeah, and I think that um, it's just entrepreneurs, we're all just like, we all are so goal oriented. We're all like badass women who want to like, like m change the world and like do amazing things. I can, I can say some vulgar things right there. And I stop. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I, I'm, I, I'll top that. I'm saying I'm on that with you. <laughs> Yeah. So, and I'm one of them. And, you know, a, a lot of what I'm doing is like, I'm, I'm with you. This is a collaboration. Like I help you find whatever you value, whatever makes you, you, and we spend your time on that. That is so great. So with that being said, the reason I uh, wanted to be here today, um, I know that you do teach time management, but 
um, for you, um, we did this challenge because I want our ladies to, um, in this group, to set some boundaries when it comes to personal life as well as their professional life, but mostly personal life because personal life affects the personal, professional life. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? What, what do you think of when you, when, when you hear the word boundaries, what does that mean to you and why is it so important that we have to set boundaries? Yeah, well, I just want to say that like boundaries in our society, you know, just drawing on to like my background and where I'm at right now is like um, our society does not value boundaries, right? Like work does not value your personal life. Um, like corporations don't value your humanness. And so when we're all in the system of no one respecting our personal lives and our humanness and our our boundaries like what we need to feel good it, it's hard like we're just like tossed and pulled in like eight million different directions um and a lot of times they're they're things that are learned coming out of the womb right like as children and so we're working against a system of like hundreds of years. Like this is not something that is just like your lifetime. Um, and so it's hard. It, and I just want to like bring that up like firsthand, right? Like first off the gate is like um, a lot of people like shame themselves, including myself. I'm, I'm going to go back to my personal experience. Like I shame myself for deep, like struggling with this. Like I should be free from that. Um, like I should be able to set boundaries and do whatever the hell I want to do. Right. But I can't because hundreds of years of this system, because of being a woman, right. Being um, in today, like today's society. But um, a lot of times, and then, because of all of that, our first initial response to boundaries is like, ugh, like pull away. Like that's, right, right, they're right. scary, they're mean, they're, they're harsh, they're, um, they're all of these negative things and feelings. And so the reason for that is because our boundaries are not valued by other people. And so why would we want to value our own boundaries? But so um, kind of bringing up the history of them, right? And is really important because you're fighting up against hundreds of years of stuff. And um, personally for me, I don't know. This is why we, we connect. Like I'm a firecracker. Like oh, yes. I'm a firecracker. I've always been um, really, authentic and true to myself and honest and blunt and like um I still have a hard time with boundaries for sure I will not say they're easy for me but they're easier for me than I, I see other people having like my husband for example he has no boundaries like he and we 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 go back and forth right because I'm more of like uh these are my boundaries and he's like oh okay um so <laughs> yeah. we definitely have that energy but I think that personally like boundaries are your skin boundaries are what holds you together <laughs> like literally if you didn't have skin I'd be, I don't know what we would look like yeah. it would not be pretty um and so yeah like there, there are these things that are somewhat invisible somewhat like and but like 100% necessary well, that's why I talked about it yesterday. And I said, uh, for me, and I, I'm glad you brought your personal life to this. For me, all my life, and you know my story, um, all my life, I was told what to do. So for the longest time, um, forget about the boundaries to know what it is and how to set it up. But just, I, I always did what they told me to do. And I got so sick of it. I got so sick of it. And then and, and later in life, not even uh, early, like later in life, being mother of two, and here I'm disciplining my kids. But I didn't have my own boundaries. And, and I wanted to emphasize on this because I did not have boundaries because I didn't know what I wanted. And the more, and I know you said that, that you learn all this stuff, you meditate, you yoga, you everything. The more I learned about myself, my wants and what I want and what I don't want, what I like and what I don't like. What? Knowing that my good and my own bad. Then I said to myself, hmm, like, you know, there's certain stuff that I, ha I believe and I will strongly believe. And if I don't, the other people don't believe it. Oh, well, you know, no disrespect, but ju just my belief. And when I set my boundaries, my whole life changed. 
my whole life changed because I did it from a different perspective of like, oh, I don't want to be told what to do anymore. I'm sick and tired of people are walking all over me. I'm sick and tired of people. Are ke- I keep saying yes, yes, yes. I, no, no was not in my vocabulary. Yeah. It was just like always yes, 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 yes. And then I was like, wait a minute. I don't know myself. That's why I don't have boundaries. So would, would, do you agree that in order to set boundaries, we must know ourselves first? before yep. we even go because if we don't know ourselves you know we, we don't think it's necessary to even have boundaries yeah you know and yeah like 100 percent. but the thing that always gets is like when do you ever finish knowing yourself or like getting to know yourself right like we want this like concrete like thing i know myself so i can like set these boundaries and then they'll be there forever and i like i don't ever have to reevaluate them and so i'll also add to that and say yes you have to know yourself like 1000% um and this goes back to values and exercise that the universe like literally keeps backing at me in the face in and i have not actually done it but i need to so this is me publicly giving myself accountability to doing this but um Define your values. That's a great place to start. What do you value? Me, I value flexibility and freedom, which is why I'm starting an online business or I'm growing my online business. Like, and I'm sure that you're here as well for that same thing. And when you don't have boundary, when you don't know that that's your value, you're not going to be able to set up boundaries that, that allow for that flexibility and freedom. And then you're just going to be in a cycle of like, I want freedom. And then I work my ass off and I never do anything for myself. And then you're just like stuck. Right. Um, so yeah. And a value exercise. What do you value? Go Google a list of like 300 value words ever and like highlight the ones that resonate with you. And, um, yeah, just like pick out, define what that means for you and how you actually take action in that value. Like what does that look like in your tangible physical life? Um, so that's like an action item that I'm doing this week. Um, and I urge you to do that as well to get to know yourself better. Um, and then what boundaries do you have to set up to make those happen? And just know that as you evolve and grow and do all of this amazing self-developmental work that you are already doing, your values are going to change. So therefore your boundaries are going to change. And so set up a date with yourself. If you want to go through your values once a year, do that or six months, do that or quarter, do that, whatever it needs to be, but just know that you're human growing, right? Like all the self-developmental books, if, if you don't want to grow, why are you reading them? (laughs) <laughs> oh you, you're absolutely right as we go we change our, our our look change our mentality change our career change everything changes so like you said we have to go back and see what do I value what do I value the most about me and the other thing that I, I think that and I'm just going to throw this in here for you to, uh, I think that if we can have boundaries and like you said values our value and our beliefs and know ourselves don't you think that's going to also um like improve our self-esteem as well as our confidence because a lot of time do you know this okay so I don't know about you I know you work with a lot of people so I know a lot of my clients have this problem of I I know the word is really not good to say but they're people pleaser they're very very people pleaser so when you're a people pleaser you're really not your true identity of who you are you're always having a conversation with people because you wanted to fit in or because yeah. you wanted to be liked, because you wanted to be loved, because you wanted to be accepted. Mm-hmm. So it's really not your true self. You're going along with a conversation or if somebody invites you to a party, you're going even though you don't want to. Or if somebody's like um, telling you like, hey, like go out on a date with me and you're like, okay, because you feel bad and I really don't want to, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> and, uh, hello. I'm <laughs> <done>. <laughs> But at the end of the day, you sit back and you feel like a shit because, you know, you, you, you were supposed to say no, you were supposed to not to do it, but you did it. And now it makes you feel so bad. And some people are living like that. And that's a terrible way to live. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, um, so many thoughts about that because, you know, I have FOMO. And I think a lot of us have FOMO, right? We have like, which connects to shiny object syndrome and FOMO can lead into like blurred boundaries, right? Like the other morning I was laying in bed and I was like, I don't know what to do with myself today. Um, And instead of asking, you know, what I wanted, I looked at my husband and I'm like, okay, what do you want to do today? Right. 
And so like, I also am, I would say recovering perfectionist. And so like knowing that I'm not going to be in alignment with my values and boundaries at all times, right? I can't expect perfection. I can't act in my values and in my boundaries at all times either. Um, And so, yeah, I would just say that like, when you do go backwards or forwards and and grow and evolve and move and be a people pleaser, not be a people pleaser, be super, like, be clear on your boundaries, not be clear. Um, Just know that 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 contrast is what helps you grow and helps you get to know yourself, right? Um, And so there's nothing wrong with that. No. Really? <laughs> not really. There's no shame. No, not at all. Because we learn as we grow and we learn as we make mistakes. And I know I'm notorious for that. And I, I talk about finance and I say to my people to ask me, oh, you're good at finance. I said, yeah, because you know what? I made that many mistakes. <laughs> I had no choice but to become good at it. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, like confidence comes from knowing your values and speaking up for yourself. And I just want to throw this out there because we are entrepreneurs and I want to take it to the direction of when it comes to our work and especially online work. And I know me and you, we talked about this a lot of time. Um, That's another thing that, like you said, shiny object. We totally go out of our way and we just leave our lane and go to see, oh, that person did this. So I have to do this too in order to get there. And that is really not your, like you said, that your values, your beliefs, things that you wanted to do. But we go after that and we become someone that we are not. And that is literally actually make your business go slow versus especially online business. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Another thing, like bringing it back to online business that I see with my clients with time, right? is um not honoring time blocks (laughs) like we we want to better and we want to create time blocks to get our to-do list done and to see our business grow and evolve and move and um yeah like all the time people create time blocks and then don't honor them and it's no different than than that is a boundary right like your time you have to set time blocks in order to get what you want done, right? Um, And spend your time intentionally and with shiny object syndrome is interfering with your time blocks with the things that you actually want to put on your to-do list and get done and um, to grow your business. I think that that needs to be reevaluated and talked about, which is why I'm talking about it with my business. It's like, um, you have to know your values. You have to know yourself to manage your time well to get whatever you want to get done so you can do whatever you want to do. Um, It goes back to so many things because I don't want to cut you off, but um, as you're talking to me and you said time, because in the business world and a lot of entrepreneurs are in this group, all women are almost entrepreneur in this group, online entrepreneurs. And I teach a class on that. And I always say, so the basic rule of, of, okay, I'm creating a um, group or I'm doing this challenge, or I'm doing, I'm trying to get leads, or I'm trying to do this. Um, it took me a long time to realize because I've been an entrepreneur for 30 years and I have other, other businesses that is like very straightforward. They come to the store, they buy stuff, they go, that's it. So I was used yeah. to that thing. When I started my online business and it's like, when you have a list of like uh, 300 people, right? And then you, you, you launch your program and you're like, yay, like, you know, I'm going to launch my program and I'm going to make this much money. And then out of 300 people, two may, two may or may not buy your program. Yeah. Now, and a lot of, and they, they literally like uh, miss to uh, say that. And, and a lot of programs are out there. They're not saying that to you. Listen, just because you have a 500 people in your life, it does not mean they're going to buy it. Just because you have a 90 people in your group, that doesn't mean they're going to respond. Just because you have this, why? Like, let's go take it back. Because they don't like a lot of time, a lot of people go on the social media. They spend five, six hours on a social media, joining the group, joining this challenge, doing this, but they never show up. They never yeah. show up. Or like um, assigning it for an email and you're sending all these emails and you're looking at the, the, the opening rate and it's like out of a thousand people, it's so percent. And you're like, what? You know, I really, I believe it or not, I actually had to write an email to my email list and say, please. If I, cause I don't want to uh, send so much junk in your mailbox. If you are not interested to read my things that I spend so much time on. And if I'm not uh, adding any value to your life, please unsubscribe. Please. Yep. Please unsubscribe because that actually can affect your sale. 
Yep. Because you're thinking that you have a thousand people and then if the ratio of what they're giving you, you're like, okay, if I have five people buy this, what it is. But for ladies out there, for entrepreneurs out there, and that goes all goes back to the boundaries of you just do whatever you feel like it. Setting a boundary saying that, no, I am not going to be on a social media for four hours. I'm taking that four hours. I'm going to spend it on my business to see actual results. I'm actually going to reach out to people and talk to people, not sending an email. Just actually, like, I, like I message you. I like, I don't, you know, unless I have to send you something, I email, but I actually, you got to talk to them. You got to pick up the phone. Yeah. You got to like actually get face to face to talk to them. Those what makes your business move versus like following the script of like, oh, go to every social media, do this, do that. Mm-hmm. So, and then it all goes back to the, like you said, time blocking and just like boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, every, honestly, just like, I don't know, the universe just keeps like, getting this like value exercise in my head and it's like like we all need to just sit down like what do you value do you do you even value facebook (laughs) yeah do you value being on every single platform do you value being overwhelmed do you value being scattered probably not so why do you do that right? Like, why do you spend your time in that fashion? Um, And that's like really simplified, right? And I don't mean to like create shame around that. And I think that um, if you do feel scattered and overwhelmed, it's hard to not like, it's hard to see like the clear skies when it's gray. And and I don't, you know, I don't mean to shame anyone, but um, yeah, come back to your values. Meditate, meditate on it, journal on it. Like, what do you value and, and how does that show up? Is your, are you living your life in alignment with them and set boundaries accordingly? Like, Absolutely. And that's, that's simple. why I, 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 I literally show up consistency, make your time valuable, make your time that is comfortable for you and stop following the society expectation or what the other entrepreneurs are doing. You kind of have the technicality of the business. Okay. This is what it is that I'm doing, but mm-hmm. your business is unique to you. If, and, and then I have clients that are saying that my competitors and I say, always say to them, you, it's good that you have competitors because that means there's a lot of need for that. But even though we're not inventing something, <laughs> we're not inventing something. We just like, this is mine. I know. I, I'm just like, invented (laughs) we just you know for a hundred years people are like following stuff so you do it even if you do something that someone else done it exact same thing just the fact that you're speaking about it differently that makes us unique to your desire so like stop stop doing what other people asking you to do say no Mm -hmm. once in a while sit back and say no like you said i don't have to be in like 20 social media I don't have to be now. Be on the one that works for you. Be the one that you're most comfortable with. And I know a lot of people say, I don't like to do videos. I don't like to go Instagram live. Don't do it. Simply don't do it. But yeah. it's so hard for them because if they're working with a coach or if they're working with somebody, they can't really truly tell their feeling and say, and that comes back to boundaries of, hey, I believe what I believe. This is what I believe. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it. And it's my way. And if I can continue doing this, I'm going to see results. Because if you do it either way, you're not going to be comfortable with it anyway because it's not yours. You're just simply following other people's um, footsteps. Yeah, something that just became clear um, as we're talking, as you were just talking, is I think a lot of business coaches and like um, people in the online space are in this rebellious energy right now, right? Like everyone's like, you don't have to be on 20 social media platforms. You don't have to do a course. You don't have to do any of these things but why are so many people doing it still, right? That's what I just asked myself. And what I came back to was me and my personal experience of like, um, you know, I don't really like being on Facebook, like posting on my Instagram on my Facebook, but I'm still doing it because all it is is a button, right? I share her on Instagram and I don't think that that was, is the best strategy, but I'm just doing it because I'm doing it. So using that example, how, what can I do for myself to be okay with not posting on Facebook? What can you do to be okay with not being on 20 platforms or not creating a course or not taking that next challenge or subscribing to that freebie or whatever shiny object syndrome you're having, right? Whatever compare, like I love Marie Forleo, compare schlager, whatever comparison itis you're having right now, what can you do for yourself, right? Because all it is is a longing. 
Okay, light bulb moment. Uh, what is a longing? A longing is, uh, you know, surface level, something that you want, but a metaphorical, like deeper meaning is like something a whole, right? A hole in your heart. How do you fulfill that, right? By validating yourself. Really, that's all it comes down to. Absolutely. I am okay if I'm not on 20 platforms. I am okay if I don't post on Facebook and reshare my Instagram photos for Facebook. The world is not going to end. I am okay. I am worthy. I am enough. I am doing enough. My business is not going to fail because I'm on not on 20 platforms so that's all internal work that we need to do and that's a like if you value love if you value compassion if you value um yourself that that is that like you need to validate yourself and make yourself feel fulfilled that fill that hole in your heart that you're longing that it's like an external thing that you're longing for is really just a hole in your own heart right so yeah Lots of you light bulb. It's so perfectly like you said, <laughs> no, seriously, light bulb moment. Like like I, I'm I'm not kidding because it is so true and we have to speak about this more because we're entrepreneurs and I created this group because woman healing woman is like I look at it this way, okay. There's there is as a woman we have to get together, we have to share the truth, especially as an entrepreneur. Okay, what worked for me and what worked didn't work for me. We combine the ideas and we say, hmm, you know what? I tried that and this is what I did and this is work for me. This is it. Or this is not aligning with me. You want to do this, then I cannot do this. And like you said, to accept that and say, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I don't have to. One of the things that I don't use is, is a, a Facebook ad. Like I hate Facebook ad. I don't know how the hell that works. It's a money machine either. It just... Every single day, they give you this junky, like low hanging fruit people that are like sitting in somewhere in India uh, and they're sitting and signing. <laughs> I'm gonna get criticized for that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that ladies and gentlemen, no, I was in India, so I know I was one of them. <laughs> I kid you not. They really, Facebook is designed that way. I, if I tell you they have people, they, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Facebook has a whole company in India that have them paying them a freaking 10 cents an hour to just go subscribe to everyone with different names and yeah. get you things up. And you're like putting a freebie and you're like, wow, I got four people signed up. But then when it comes to sale, it's just like a go. Dude, I'm serious. I've never done a Facebook ad in my life, so I have no idea, but I'm, I, I don't trust it. So <laughs> I can't, I can't, I just, I, I wanted to get my people organically. And like you yeah. said, I, my business is not going to go down. That's one thing we have to pay attention. The other thing is that I want people to come to me. I don't like to go after people because here's what it is for, for, for group, this group, ladies, if you're, if you guys are entrepreneur and if you're like, because when you go after people, even if they sign up, they're not going to do the work. But if they come to you, that means they're ready to change. They wanted to change. So mm -hmm. I learned that in a hard way. I learned that I had so many clients that I, they were like, said, again, because they wanted to make me happy. They said, yes, yes, I'm going to sign up. But do you know they did not do the work? And yep. I have people that are signed up voluntarily and they come in and they do the more work than, than the one that is like actually said it yes because of me or because of whatever reason that is. And yeah. it all goes back to, like you said, your values. It's okay. You are perfect the way you are. You yeah. are enough. You don't need to impress anybody. You just have to be comfortable with yourself. And yeah. doing that, you must have set up boundaries. And like I said last night, boundaries are a guideline. It's just like a no good, no bad. doesn't make you a bad person. I believe in this. Don't cross this line. With all due respect, I respect your boundaries. You respect my boundaries. And if I say no, it's not because I hate you. It's because I don't align with that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think that... Um we're all just trying to get our needs met. <laughs> we are all trying to get our wants and needs met. And it's like in this entrepreneur space, it's like this transaction. We're like in this transactional energy and that blurs our values a lot. And so, yeah, just simple. Oh, authentic. Be authentic. <laughs> my, I always, I, since I started it till now, I always say, listen, I don't care what that you cannot change. I don't care what entrepreneurs are doing. 
it can get like, the, like again, the technicality of it that we have to follow certain stuff, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to reality of it, I've done, I've, I love people that are being themselves utterly, utterly be yourself. Yep. There's no shame to that. There's no, don't try to be someone that you're not. Don't try to do something that you don't, can do. It's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. And I think for us, it's easy to say because we practice, but for a lot of people, they find it very hard to just be themselves and have some yeah. of degrees and values and say, you know what? Yeah. I can't. And it's like, I, I want to go back to like, this is a practice for me, right? Like this is a personal practice of mine. It's like, like literally I did a new moon circle last night um, and I released, um, fo- I literally wrote down FOMO and shoulds and like that's what I, you know that's what I wrote on the card that I put into the bayou but um yeah like it's a personal continuous continuous practice to release all of the pressures of external things to release internal pressure internal expectations external things in I'm an engineer and I'm a nerd and I love science and so like you know, in fluids class when they're explaining pressure of water on containers and like all that, like it comes back to that, right? Like that's your boundary. Um, Your skin, your skin is a boundary for your physical body. And um, yeah, it's a practice. I love that. (laughs) Your skin is a, yep, I'm going to remember that (laughs) from you. Becca, thank you so much for being here with us. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, for short notice, I'm sorry. (laughs) But um, I, I think it's an important subject for, uh, for all women to know. I think it's important, especially in time like this, that we are home with the pandemic and all this other stuff going on. Have some boundaries. Respect yourself. Love yourself. You don't need a validation from anybody else to tell you you're, you're great. You are great the way you are. Unfortunately, the society, all this chaos is going. But in the end of the day, underneath of all that skin that we have, we are all same color, same thing, and we are human being. And just be a genuine self. And I couldn't think of anybody else but you. And I, you said it perfectly because I think the time goes with that time management and setting the boundaries and saying, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't feel bad if you do that. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. And I'll just say, just to like toot my own horn, I was only able to come here last minute because I, am, I quit my nine to five. Last week was my last week. Hello, and... I'm running a part-time business because I'm only working three hours a day. So this is wow. one of my three hours. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. See, that's why good because you have to share your, uh, your strategy with this, this group as well because that's what we want. Work less, work smart, not so much so hard. People, it's possible. It, it is. is possible. Trust me, I've done it. And uh, I used to work like five, six jobs uh, at, to, to just support my kids. But now I just choose my own time and I love what I do. And I get to meet some amazing people like yourself. So I thank you so much for you being here and giving your perspective of how important it is to set some boundaries yeah. and set some time for yourself, right? Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. 